Norma Cron Gardner was 15 when she smiled for this photo. That was nearly 80 years ago. Faded and worn, the picture still means the world to Norma's daughter, Chris Harrison. I think this picture helped my mom and dad get together while he was away. Chris's father, Benjamin, carried Norma's photo all through Europe during World War II. It gave him hope. When he came back, in a year or two, they got married. So it just makes sense that Chris has long carried this same precious picture in her own wallet. I enjoyed having it there because I knew she was there and it was a nice little reminder. Last summer, Chris, who lives in Atlanta, came to Portland to visit her daughter. She stopped into this Trader Joe's on Northeast Halsey. And it was there, Chris says, that someone bumped into her and stole her wallet. And I was just devastated. I was crying and we were going to leave the next day. Chris filed a police report, but she never thought she'd see her wallet or her treasured photo again. Eight months went by. And I get this call um, from this guy. He says, hey, lady, I have your wallet. And I'm like, yeah, right. It's fine. I kind of expected it. This is Randall Bear. He promises he did not steal Chris's wallet. Plus, I understand how hard it is to lose your wallet. It's happened to me. But he did find it right here, he says, tucked into this tree in a McDonald's parking lot just a few blocks from Trader Joe's. He noticed Chris's phone number on a medical card and called her. I just said, I'm going to leave it in the McDonald's. You can come pick it up. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm sure you did, you know. But um, I was very skeptical. Then Chris remembered her police report. The responding officer had told her, call him anytime. She did. He went by McDonald's. The wallet was there. Credit cards missing and money missing, obviously. But the picture was still in there. And I'm like, oh, you're kidding me. The officer mailed Chris her wallet the very next day. To thank the police officer, Chris mailed him two Trader Joe's gift cards. But he mailed them right back to her, saying thanks, but accepting them would be against bureau policy. As for Randall, Chris is sending him a reward and an apology. I am so ashamed of the way I talked to him at first because, you know, in this day and age, it's so hard to trust people. She got it after a while. <laughs> Turns out somewhere in this wallet, maybe near Norma's smile, was one last lesson from mom. Don't give up on humankind because humans can be kind. In Northeast Portland, Catherine Cook, KGW News. Yes, they can. Catherine, Chris Randall, we did need a story like that.